going back to your core, to the basis of who you are, breathing in and breathing out. Who am I? What is this all about? Why have I been born into this family? And sometimes you're in a family to help other people. Always it's a win-win situation where they will give you something that you wanted to go through and you, only your soul will explain it to you in peace and quiet. But your soul will not come forward with information when there's, when there's problems, when you're up in the air, when, you, when you're worried and stressed out. So if you de-stress, you sit in meditation and you learn to breathe from the diaphragm correctly in and out, as you start to de-stress, the intuition starts to kick in. The soul starts to give you messages. It won't, open, it won't happen overnight, beloved. But trust me, it will happen. And then you'll find that all the family will walk together in unison with each other for a period of time. And then obviously people start to grow and then always flip confliction again so once again you go within you're your own peacemaker and it must always start with you first show them what you want them to show to you be the change in your life that you want to see in other people and that Jan is for you for the last statement be the change in your life that you want to see in, in other people is for everybody and we can say that to continents and countries for countries now we will say be the country that you wish other countries to be it's not about money it's about energy it's about understanding why you're all born into different countries at this time to help brothers and sisters in that country you've all elected all of you to be born into this world at this time for this beautiful moment of ascension and every one of you now is walking on your own individual path but remember beloveds you do not walk alone there are those invisible people that walk with you that have gone before your ancestors your mums and dads your brothers and sisters you we could say your pets your animals wow could you imagine the procession behind you and in front of you at the side of you as well could you imagine what is going on it is unbelievable you are not alone for every good thing that you do for yourself you do for other people when you do one good thing when you just one major major act the world is changed by it yes there's other people who are doing acts that are quite selfish and the world is changed also back but every thought pattern that you have beloveds every action you do every deed that you think every intention every thought pattern goes in to the matrix into mother earth it goes in there and this in a way has to come out so mother earth is going through her own changes herself she's detoxing like most of the human race are detoxing at this time people are getting fed up what you may call junk food they're becoming ill the doctors are keeping cures away from people because they want the finance all you have to do beloved is say no i want a better life and when you say want just change the word i require i am having a better life but when you say that I am, they are the most two powerful words in the dictionary. I am. It is the statement. It is the Christ consciousness, because that is what you all are. You are the consciousness of Christ. Not, not the Jesus Christ, but me, I, Dennis Christ, Jan Christ, uh, Christina Christ, anybody who's listening with a, with a Christian name, Put the Christ after it, because you are the Christ energy. All of you. It is the energy that you bring in through, into yourself. It is energy you work on. It is a Christ energy is going 
in and coming up with a different understanding. It is too much, there is so much energy coming through me now. I'm having difficult trying to give, thank you. They tell me it is an, ex, it is an expansion of your mind faculty and your heart faculty. That is the Christ energy. It is an expansion. That is a word I would not use. And they knew I was struggling then, so they put that expansion there. And when you expand your heart, and when you show people that this is the way I feel, with so much compassion and energy and like power, think, well, I can be like that person. Where is that energy coming from? And all it is, folks, is you've got it yourself. You're bringing yourself off that dungeon wall because you're realising who you are, how powerful you are. You're not downtrodden. Yes, you may think you were downtrodden many years ago. In fact, you were. But now, look at you now. Free as a bird. What was Jonathan Siegel all about? Yeah, it's a folk tale. But it's true. He learnt to fly. He didn't scavenge for food. He didn't follow the trawlers, the fishing boats, and he beat his he, he beat he beat the fellows seagulls up for scraps of food. He learned to fly. His thoughts, his heart was different. He says, "No, I'm not here to scrap food. I'll let somebody else have that. I will perfect my life. I will perfect the flying. Flying is life. We can all fly through life. We can all learn how to fly properly." Then he taught to the people. But then the masters or the leaders of the flock turn people away. Doesn't this sound familiar? How many people who are listening to this now have taught themselves, then teach other people, and people say you can't do that, you're not allowed to do that. So you withdraw, and then bit by bit people come to you to ask you for your information and your love and your understanding. Doesn't this ring a bell, ladies and gentlemen? You know, we all are that Jonathan Livingston Seagull. We are all got the capability of being the Buddha and being the Christ consciousness and being the Mother Mary, the Sister Teresa. We've all got the Gandhi within us. Everybody has got that hero with inside themselves, all of us. And all you've got to do, my friends, is find it again. You've had it before. You've got it now. And I love you all.